All right, let's uh, write an equation for this thing. So noticing a couple of things. Uh, one thing I notice is I've got that midline here at 3. So I know it's going to be 3 plus something. I notice that this offset right here from 3 up to 5 is 2. So it's plus 2. Um, it's starting in the middle and going up, so I'm going to use sine. So there's all that. And now I have two more pieces to, uh, to get at. One of them being the, um, the, the multiplier for the period, and the other being the shift. And the shift is easy. It was shifted back pi over 4. So this should be plus pi over 4. And then uh, let me think about the period on this. This goes from pi over 4 all the way to 15 pi over 4. So uh, 15 pi over 4. And I could say minus negative that, um, or I could just say plus that, plus pi over 4. So that's uh, 16 ah, pi over 4. Um, and let's see, what is that? That is 4 pi. So notice it's uh, it's kind of slowed down, right? The period's 4 pi. I'm gonna, technically what I can do is go 2 pi, uh, the regular period divided by 4 pi. How many times does 4 pi go into that? I don't like what my pen's doing right now. Jeez, whatever. Uh, so notice that that is 1 half. So that's my multiplier, 1 half. So here's an equation for that. Notice midline. Uh, up down stretch, how the period changes, shift and get it off of this point, this point, and I just use that point for that stretch right there.